So, um, told y'all I would do updates. I'm just not going to do no Billy updates. Okay, let's talk about this pregnancy. Oh my God. I don't know what the title of this video going to be, but. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, come close my door a little bit because that TV. Come close my door. Who here? Here, who, what? What'd he do? I found out who did it. Oh, close my door. That's good. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what I'm gonna name this video yet. I know it's gonna be uh eight week pregnancy update. Yeah, I haven't okay, having this soon be thirteen, so my my baby is 13 years old okay now i have this new life <laughs> uh coming here in november so it's like my body is oh my god y'all so first i want to talk to y'all about this acne i um younger as an early teenager i had acne problems really bad but my granny she started me using um noxema so my face my skin it cleared up i didn't have problems with my face anymore okay until um uh, my 30s and maybe like my from about 35 to now i've been having problems with my skin like um just random things going on with my skin all right now i am allergic to a lot of stuff it's just a point i can't just i i can't just not sleep on my sheets um i can't just sleep if i take my pillowcase off my pillow i can't sleep on the pillow either because what's in the pillow i may be allergic to it's just different things that really don't make any sense so i break out a lot i get hives really bad and right now my face okay uh pregnancy acne has taken over my face bumps everywhere i put a black um one of those uh charcoal masks on and i shouldn't have done it because it brought a lot of more bumps to the surface of my face where you can see them so i um looked up this little concoction with apple cider vinegar toothpaste and i rubbed it um on the bumps so it dried them up i left it on my face i it said leave it on for like 20 minutes i left it on for maybe an hour or so maybe even longer than that but um it dried up most of the bumps this bump is new this is a today bump i have one here this is a today bump and i'm serious when i say today i mean it just popped up today um this one mm, it's gone uh it's one big one right here so it's like that is like a total hell no i can't stand this pregnancy acne thing okay so, um, right now, um, I was reading about, um, how big the baby is and everything and it's about the size of a kidney bean and the ears are starting to budge, the eyes, the, um, the eyelids are starting to cover the eye the little arms and hands are starting to form the legs are starting to form i read all of that i saw the pictures looked at the video everything y'all seriously this is like 
a start over. So I'm trying to reacquaint myself with pregnancy, childbirth, and all of that. Okay. I've had both. I've had a, a vaginal birth with no meds to a C-section. Of course, you have to have meds with the C-section, <laughs> anesthesia, whatever. So, <sighs> so I'm reacquainting myself with everything. Okay. My, my bras, I have to go bra shopping because my bras, my, my breasts were a telltale that I should have been paying attention to that I was pregnant in the beginning because my breasts, I'm, and I'm not being too, I hope I'm not being too um, visual, but it's like they were just, I already have big breasts. So it's like, they were like way down, like if they had extra five pounds on each one. So walking and with my bra on, it was like hurting really, really bad. I walk in the stores. That's why I get my exercise at <laughs> when I walk in the stores. Because we do go to Walmart a lot, go to the grocery store a lot or whatever. So it's like walking helps me keep my my blood pressure down, and my heart rate cool, okay? Um, So, my, my shoulders were hurting. I don't like that because I couldn't even push the basket and it kind of felt like I was going to have a heart attack. And I was like, I can't do this. Like, I didn't even realize I could be pregnant. Just, you know, um, one of pregnancy symptoms is your shoulders may start to hurt, okay? So, yeah. That happened. My shoulders started to hurt <laughs> really bad um, in the store, actually. So I had to give the basket to hubby. Okay. Another thing I didn't pay attention to when I did not know I was pregnant. Didn't think oh, I, 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 I could be pregnant. Um, Y'all, I was walking in the store. And the bottom of my stomach just felt so horrible, like... Something was just pulling and twisting and turning like if um, something was coming out. But I thought that it was maybe diarrhea. I didn't think it was going on with my stomach like you could be pregnant. So pains in the bottom of your stomach are called um, implantation. So I'm thinking that that's what that was. But I felt it like hard. <laughs> um, almost. Well, it did buckle me over. Like I, w I was bent over. I had to sit down. Okay. So with that. Um, one thing I didn't pay attention to was my underarm uh, odor. It, in like the first couple of weeks, no matter how much deodorant I put on, no matter how much I shave, no matter how much I, I, I even take apple cider vinegar and rub under my arms after I shave and, and wash under my arms. I'll use the apple cider vinegar. I put it on a pad um, and rub under my arms just, you know, for... So, so no bumps won't pop up and no, no soreness or whatever. Okay. No matter how much I did that, no matter, I could wear deodorant three times a day. It wasn't funk. Like it was like, um, my deodorant would get really, 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 really strong. So I knew it was time to go and wash and put on some fresh deodorant. Y'all, when I say I went through two sticks of secret and a month time I, I'm serious okay it's it, it's just that serious um what else uh. <sighs> oh yeah it's a lot so um this week my nausea is it's like 
in the morning. So I bought a box of saltine crackers because my sister-in-law told me that when she had morning sickness, she would um, eat some saltine crackers and, you know, a 7-Up. But I don't like 7-Up. I have ginger ale because I that's what I take for the nausea feeling. I mean, I drink for the nausea feeling. So that's what that's going on with that. And um, let me tell you about the morning sickness, though. The morning sickness is hell. In the morning when I wake up, if I do not eat, like, right then, it starts slow. And it gradually gets bigger to where I feel like I'm about to throw up nothing on my stomach at all. Like, I, I, I haven't even eaten anything. So, what is on my doggone stomach that's trying to come up? Nothing but the stomach acid, okay? So, and I feel like that all day. So, I'll eat something. I'll eat a small something. And it'll go away for about an hour. Then it's back. I eat a little something for an hour. It's gone. Then it's back. And that's all day long, y'all. Even when I'm asleep, I wake up sick in my sleep. So, with that being said, it's like to me, and I'm I'm I told my husband, I'm I'm y'all, I want my baby to be healthy and strong and everything. Um, I go for ultrasound on the 26th. So I'll know then if I'm carrying one or two, okay? Because while I'm putting that out there, my husband's father is a twin. And then my, my husband has aunts and uncles that are twins. And I think his grandmother may have had two or three sets of twins. Then there's a set of twins on his mom's side, I believe. I'm not sure how many. So it's like, hmm, my baby's grandfather is a twin. And my husband has a sister, him and his dad. I mean, him him and his sister share their dad and mom. So it's like, which one of them is going to have the twins if it runs like that, you know? So that's where my mind is at. And I'm like, is that why my symptoms are like double, triple, quadruple? Um... I also know that um, on my side, twins is not as heavy as on his side. But twins, we have a few sets of twins in our family. I have a, a niece and nephew. They're like 34. Wait, 33? Maybe even 32. Well, they're, they're a set of twins. I'm going to put it like that. Boy and a girl. Um... So, I don't know about that part. Um, so, I'm thinking that maybe my symptoms are heightened because maybe it is twins. Um, not looking forward. Well, can't say I'm not looking forward to raising twins, but if we have twins, that's, that's even more beautiful than us even having a baby at all because we thought we wasn't going to even be able to conceive we thought that maybe we were going to have to put some money into conceiving but we didn't thank the lord he came through for us um but yeah i'm so serious like if y'all know anything that will help me um normalize my um morning sickness Please, 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 please let me know anything. I don't care what it is. If you have twins, let me know if your symptoms were heightened, made bigger or greater. Um, the acne in my face. I've never had acne being pregnant. So um, let me know if you're a twin mom, um, if you had the acne problem, and especially in this area. Like um the jawline area or whatnot. Let me know. Please let me know. You can let me know down below. You can find me on Instagram at the Johnson Five. You can email me at Kokomoko230 gmail.com. 
I'm talking about, let me know, please, y'all, please, please. Because these millennium babies, I can't even say millennium babies. These new babies being born these days, hell, I wouldn't be surprised if my baby came here already walking and talking because it's just, stuff just, stuff just changing so much. I want to breastfeed, but not breastfeed. I want to pump and give the baby the bottle. I'm not with that because I'm my breasts are always sensitive. That's the problem with the even the pump pumping. My my breasts are already sensitive. Period. Without being pregnant, so it's like I don't know if I'll be even able to pump. So that's an issue for me. Um, I really want to breastfeed <clears throat> this baby, and um, maybe if I can't breastfeed. Um, solely breastfeed I can um, breastfeed and and um, you know what I'm saying formula feed uh, I think that's it y'all um, I appreciate everybody that watched that video everybody that come in it everybody thank you guys y'all don't know how much that meant to me I was so happy because I was I was kind of nervous even making a video because I was like nobody not gonna watch that video because most of my videos really haven't been that's why I was like don't put that up but then I, again I was like well I'll put it up because it's something different and something new people gonna want to hear about it they gonna want to hear about the pregnancy they gonna want to hear everything about the pregnancy so they'll watch it and y'all showed up and showed out on that video and I thank y'all I love y'all for that I love y'all for that everybody that told me congratulations on instagram facebook twitter everything i love y'all for that like hey y'all came through <laughs> lift my spirits i sleep all day i get very emotional i don't always cry a few tears might drill but that's it i don't i don't do no crying i'm, I'm just you know um a tear jerker like i watched my girl marseille video about the baby about her baby having uh, salmonella, um, I guess salmonella poisoning. And that hurted me because I feel her. Like you do everything to try to keep your baby, your children, period. Even your household, your house, your things. You're trying to keep it clean. You're trying to keep germs out and somehow it still got in. It's like I felt for her so bad and I was sitting up here. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I, I shed more than one tear. Maybe three out this eye and two out this eye. I don't know, but it, I shed some tears because it's like I can understand her her pain and what she's really feeling about this situation. And thank God, you know, her baby is fine, and they're they're taking care of it because they, you would not that that is probably like oh my God, maybe the worst thing. But anyway, yeah. So, um. Like I said, thank y'all for watching my last video and thank y'all for watching this one. If you made it this far, because this is a long video. If you made it this far, um, just in the comments, say we made it. Uh, hashtag we made it. And uh, I love y'all and bye. <laughs>